again YouTube. Today we're going through free code camp, JavaScript algos and data structures. We are in basic JavaScript and we are on challenge 65 of 113. Today we are going to uh, use comparison with the greater than operator. So just like in math, we're just going to compare uh, with the greater than operator. Compares two numbers. Uh, number to the left is greater than. The number to the right it will return true. Otherwise it will return false. Uh, like the equality operator, the greater than operator will convert data types while comparing. So, uh, is 5 greater than 3? True. Is 7 greater than 3 in a string? That is also true because it's converting the 3 to an uh, integer. And then is 2 greater than 3? False. So forth. You get the idea. It does, in fact, convert data types. That is a key piece to remember when solely using a single operator. Uh, so we're going to add the greater than operator to the indicated line so that the return statements make sense. All right, so uh, this we have a function. It takes in a value, and we have if checks, and we're returning different strings based on what the if checks say. So if the value is uh, if value, we want to return over 100. So we can just say if value is greater than 100. So if the value is over greater than 100, we'll return that. Then we'll check again if value, uh, and then it says over 10. So we can just do the same thing. If value is greater than 10, then we'll return over 10. And then if none of these checks hit, if we never enter any of these code blocks because none of these conditions are true, we will simply return 10 or under because that is the only that's the only remaining option, essentially, if it doesn't enter any of those. All right, so then we just check that, and that's all we had to do. Hope that made sense. Hope to see you guys in the next challenge.